Jalan-jalan in Jakarta? Jakarta might not be everyone's cup of este manis or sweet iced tea, but this capital and largest city of Indonesia has a lot more to offer than just traffic jams and air pollution. I am Arlena Arshad, the Straits Times Indonesia Bureau Chief. I'll take you to view the city skyline, eat some local delicacies, and escape on an island getaway. First, for a bird's eye view of Jakarta, let's go to Skywalk Senayan Park. This skywalk at the rooftop of Senayan Park Shopping Mall opened in late 2021. It has become a popular spot among Instagrammers looking for a pretty sunset view against the city skyline. And for some, it's a place to chill with friends and practice some dangdut or Indonesian dance moves. This open green space is indeed the perfect place to spend quality time with the family. Seven hectares big, the park is Jakarta's answer to frequent flooding. Once highly polluted, this 700-meter-long drainage canal has been revitalized into an active waterway with lush vegetation on the banks to improve water quality. The wetland boardwalk helps to regulate water flow. For me, it's snack time! At a cozy little bakery I stumble upon near the park. But well, between bread and bakso, the Indonesian popular meatball, bakso wins hands down at Bakso Bujangan or Bachelor Bakso. These fist sized bakso balls have a variety of fillings to choose from. I pick bird's eye chili, cheese, and mozzarella. For comparison, this is a regular bowl of bakso noodle soup with regular sized balls. But the bigger the bo but the bigger the bakso, the better. Bon appetit! Jakarta is a shopping paradise with many malls, but a special one is Sarina, Indonesia's first and oldest shopping mall, which has recently undergone a multi-million dollar facelift. Named after the childhood nanny of Indonesia's first President Sukarno, the mall has witnessed many events, including a terror attack since it opened in August 1966. The latest surprise, months after it closed for renovation in June 2020, a relief believed to be commissioned by President Sukarno was uncovered in the mall's warehouse. The stone and cement structure is 12 meters long and 3 meters high and bears the images of Indonesian rural life. Besides the museum gallery, you can also shop for batik, handicraft and other local brands here. The next stop is an oldie but a goodie. Kota Tua or Jakarta Old Town. Here, you can explore Indonesia's Dutch colonial roots. The main Fatahila Square is surrounded by buildings with a distinctly European feel. You can find street artists, performers, and pushcarts selling local snacks or rent a bicycle with a matching hat. Today is my lucky day. There is a local live band playing in the square. But Cafe Batavia is a must visit. Batavia is the former colonial name for Jakarta. The high ceiling and wooden fans make this a perfect place to escape from the heat. Hungry for some steam buns or chakwe tiao? Then come with your family to Chinatown in Pantai Indah Kapuk in North Jakarta. Open during the pandemic in 2020, this is where old meets new. Jakarta's nearly 100-year-old Hakka Chinese restaurant Wang Fuki stands alongside contemporary restaurants, many of which are familiar names in Singapore. It might be Chinatown, but there are many halal options here too. I enjoy a stroll here starting with this five-storey tall pagoda which is hard to miss. 
the colorful two-story shop houses, the red lanterns hanging from lampposts, and Chinese songs blaring from speakers immediately brings out my inner Teresa thing. I also had fun with the many murals by local artists depicting scenes of Chinese legends and beliefs. The weekend is here! And what better way to spend it than to head to a nearby island? I chose Pulau Putri or Princess Island, a 90-minute fast boat ride away. First thing to do is to book a tour from the many travel agents online and head to Marina Anchol Harbour early in the morning to get on the boat. We are here! It's a small peaceful island coming back to life after COVID-19. Putri Island is one of the islands here developed for tourism. And like many islands here, it is surrounded by white sandy beaches, clear waters, coral reefs, and mangrove forest. I took a ride on a glass bottom boat in the hope to see fishes. Unfortunately, the glass windows needed some serious cleaning. Sitting on the boat was a better idea. Ah, beautiful scenery. You can rent snorkeling and diving gear if you want to get up close to marine life. If you'd rather not get wet, the Undersea Tunnel Aquarium is a good alternative. Unfortunately, I didn't stay long enough to watch the sunset. A day tour was indeed too short. It's okay, I'll be back. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.